ज्योतिपास्मे ट्वेंटी फोर्थ सूत्र दि थर्टींथ अधिकरण पुरुष विद्याकरण दि इंट्रोडक्शन से पूर्वत्र असाधारण गुण प्रत्यभिज्ञात समृत्यादि गुण विशिष्ट विद्या भेद उत्त इफ यू हेव दि ओलर वर्जन दैन टूडे देन देर सम टाइपोज हियर आई फिक्स दम सो पूर्वत्र असाधारण गुण प्रत्यभिज्ञान से अभाव ड्यू टू अभाव ऑफ प्रत्यभिज्ञ वॉट कैंड ऑफ प्रत्यभिज्ञ असाधारण गुण सो असाधारण गुण ऑफ अ पर्टिक्युलर उपासना विच विल मेक दी उपासना डिफरेंट बिकॉज इफ असाधारण गुण इज सीन इन टू डिफरेंट उपासना देन देर विल बी असाधारण गुण प्रत्यभिज्ञा सो इफ देर इज अ सॉरी प्रत्यभिज्ञा अभाव इफ देर इज एन अभाव ऑफ प्रत्यभिज्ञा ऑफ असाधारण गुण असाधारण गुण मीनिंग विच इज स्पेसिफिक टू उपासना ऑल राइट हवे वर पूर्वत्र वडवसी ने जो असाधारण गुण ऑफ दि उपासना डू नॉट अलाउ रिकलेक्शन इन स्वशाखा सो वेन यू हैव सीन एन उपासना एल्सवेर or the other way around also when you have seen the upasana elsewhere and you are doing an upasana in your own shakha or you have studied that and when you study another upasana from a different shakha then the pratyabhijna does not take place pratyabhijnana or pratyabhijna does not take place based on the asadharana gunas of that upasana there is no recollection so oh, i have heard this elsewhere in my own shakha or in another shakha i have heard this That kind of pratyabhijna isn't there. Therefore, purvatra asadharana guna pratyabhijna na abhavat. Since there is no pratyabhijna of asadharana guna of any upasana as seen in another shakha, therefore what samrutyaadi guna vishista vidya bheda ha ukta ha. Therefore, it was stated that there is vidya or upasana bheda. In which upasana, where we saw the samrutyadi, samruti, uh, samruti and vyapti tyadi gunas. So those guna vishista upasana, where these gunas are taught, that kind of a Brahma, that kind of Brahma upasana has to be done with particular guna vishista Brahma. In that upasana or vidya, there is bheda across shakhas. This was stated. Why? Simple hetu is that because prachchhijnya is not there. There are different asadharana gunas. That's what it means. The asadharana gunas are not recollected as common. However, Purva Pakshi brings in another context where ihatu asadharana marana avrutha guna vishista purusha yajna rupa ikya pratyabhijnya nad vidya ikyam vidya ikyam. Iti pratyudharana sangatya idamaha. There is a pratyudharana sangati. Purva Pakshi is bringing a counter example. In the earlier adhikarana, there was no pratyabhijna, but in the context that I am bringing up of purusha vidya, this purusha vidya across shakhas can be seen as one. Why? Because there is pratyabhijna, pratyabhijna anath. What kind of pratyabhijna is there? This yajna, purusha yajna. There is a purusha yajna. In that form, there is purusha rupa yajna. पुरुष यज्ञ रूप ऐक्य प्रत्यभिज्ञा 
the purusha yajna in one shakha is recollected to be the same as the purusha yajna in another shakha so in the form of pratyabhijna which is in the form of oneness so which is oneness of pratyabhijna indicates oneness and oneness which is in the form of what purusha yajna across shakhas and that purusha yajna is guna vishishta is has visheshanas what kind of visheshanas does it have it has some gunas which became visheshanas and which kind of gunas are those which are asadharana gunas meaning specific to upasanas but these asadharana gunas of two different shakha antargata purusha yajnas they have similar guna they have same guna not similar same guna which is that guna marana and avabhruta so marana marana we already know but then what is this marana in the context of purusha yajna has so the purusha yajna can be understood in this manner in the following manner life span of a person is divided into four in that upasana in the upasana there is a kalpana done of purusha who has a life span of 116 years that's a full life span in those 116 years of life there are four parts uh, sorry three parts imagined as to tw- the first part being 24 years then 44 years 48 years and totaling 116 so 24 plus 44 plus 48 meaning first part has 24 years the second part has 44 additional years and it, by additional we mean that second part of 44 years and the last part is 48 years this is totaling to 116 years now this life span of an individual is considered as yajna in this upasana this life itself is seen as yajna and what kind of a yajna soma yaga in the soma yaga there is a uh, savana of soma done thrice a day so this life span is considered as three parts of a day and each part is imagined as a savana of soma savana is where uh, uh, savana has a generic meaning of bath also but then in the soma yaga if you have seen uh, soma yaga somewhere uh, on uh, video also on youtube etc uh, the soma lata the current era soma lata uh, since we don't have that kind of soma a similar kind of a soma is uh, a kind of a creeper is grown these days so that soma same as the earlier era soma the soma is Uh, soma juice is ext- extracted from the soma creeper which is you know uh, kind of uh, uh, sticky kind of material so that juice which is extracted that extraction process is called as savana and it is done thrice a day the marana at the end is considered as avabhruta at the end of the soma yaga there is a ritualistic bathing that bathing karma is called as avabhruta so marana is seen as avabhruta that is a common factor in the purusha yajna seen across shakhas so puro pakshi is saying ih tu asadharana marana avabhruta guna this marana seen as avabhruta as a ritualistic bathing at the end of the soma yaga that is asadharana it is not common to all upasanas so it is asadharana to this purusha yajna and this asadharana guna of marana being seen as avabhruta in purusha yajna is common in another shakha antargata purusha yajna therefore this aikya pratyabhijnana is there says the purva pakshi marana is avabhruta in purusha yajna in this shakha also and that shaka also therefore vidya ikyam upasana has to be one this is the counter example given by the purva pakshi where by purusha vidya adikaranam comes up siddhanti does not agree to this we'll see how 
भगवान सूत्रकार से पुरुष विद्यायाम इव चेतरेशाम अनाम नानात पुरुष विद्यायाम इव चेतरेशाम अनाम नानात सो पुरुष विद्यायाम इव च इतरेशाम अनाम नानात सिद्धांति से इव लाइक व्हाट पुरुष विद्यायाम लाइक इन दी लाइक दी गुणा सीन इन पुरुष विद्या Similarly, you should see gunas in another shaka. Then only you can say these are one and the same vidya upasana. So the paingi rahasya is where this purusha vidya is there. Whereas taitriya shaka, those who follow taitriya shaka, this taitriya taitriya. फॉलोअर्स और तैतरीय शाखा अंतर्गत और किसी तैतरीय का नाम तैतरीय का नाम दैट इज इतरे शाम इतरे शाम लाइक च च मीनिंग द गुणास एंड द गुणास व्हिच आर सीन इन पुरुष विद्या इन पैंगर पैंगरस्य इतरे शाम तैतरीय का नाम अनाम नानात यू डू नॉट आमनाया आम आमना न वुड बी दी श्रुति वाक्य बीइंग हर्ड विथ सिमिलर गुणास बट अनामना नाथ मीन्स यू डू नॉट हियर बिकॉज पंचमी इज हेतु बिकॉज दीज गुणास लाइक पुरुष विद्या इन पैंगिर आर नॉट हर्ड इन तैतरीय का तैतरीय शाखा therefore what what is the issue now what is the conclusion purva pakshi's conclusion is not right they are not same vidyas they are different vidyas so the marana as abhruta is only one part that the purva pakshi is focusing on but siddhanti says look at so many other gunas the swarupa of the vidya upasana that swarupa is different you see so many Gunas which are not at all comparable to the gunas which are discussed in the Purusha Yajna of the Pangi Rahasya. Therefore, these are two different vidyas. Only Marana seen as Avabrata is common. Nothing other than that is common. Everything else is different. So, this huge upasana where only the ending part is common and everything else is different cannot be a single upasana and we have seen earlier when the swarupa is different like the uh, particular thing seen as one thing in one shaka and another thing in another shaka that same thing cannot be seen with two different gunas which are contradictory to each other or they have nothing to do with each other so when such kind of upasana is there only because marana is seen as avabhruta it does not mean that everything else also can be seen as same they are totally different gunas in the upasana so swarupa is different only the ending part is same there therefore you cannot club together both the upasanas so this is the idea with which the puro pakshi uh, is being countered अत्र पूर्व पक्षे विद्या भेदा उपसंहारा मीनिंग विद्या विद्या यहाँ और विद्या टू विद्या विचार सीन विद्या यो हो अभेदात बिकॉज़ ऑफ अभेदा इन विद्या इन पहिंगी रस्या एस वेल एस तैतरीय का शाखा देवरफॉर व्हाट गुना उपसंहारा शुड बी डन सिद्धांत ये तद्भेदा अनुपसंहारा इति फल भेदा तद्भ because of vidya bheda as in upasana bheda being there in pangi rahasya and taitrika taitriya antargata upasanas are different they should not be having guna upasamahara you should not club them together across shakhas pangi rahasya purusho vav yajnaha iti purusha vidya shruyate purva pakshi says Look at the Pahingi Rasya Chandogya Upanishad, uh, Chandogya has Purusho Vava Yajnaha. Indeed, 
पुरुषा इज यज्ञ पुरुषा हिमसेल्फ इज यज्ञ इति पुरुष विद्या श्रूयते दिस इज व्हाट दी पुरुष उपासना इज सीन इन दी छांदोग्य शाखा छांदोग्य उपनिषद तत्र आशीर्वंत्र प्रयोगादेह धर्माश्च श्रूयन्ते व्हाट अबाउट दी अदर गुणास देयर अदर देन इन दी इंट्रोडक्शन व्हाट पूर्व पक्षी वाज सेइंग सो आशीर्वंत्र आशीर्वाद मंत्र इत्यादि प्रयोगाद आर सीन आशीर मंत्र एंड प्रयोग सो दीज आर टू डिफरेंट आशी आशीर मंत्र इज चैंटिंग ऑफ द मंत्र प्रयोग इज कर्म सम कर्मस दीज आर धर्मस और गुणस ऑफ द उपासना श्रूयन्ते वेयर एज तैतिरीय अपि तस्य एवं विदुषो यज्ञस्य आत्मा इत्यादि इत्यादि श्रूयन्ते सो व्हाट इत्यादि श्रूयते व्हाट इज हर्ड इन तैतिरीय शाखा तैतिरीय शाखा तस्य एवं विदुष यज्ञस्य आत्मा सो पुरुषो वाव यज्ञ एंड दि अर्थतः इन तैतिरीय सीम सीम तस्य एवं विदुष एवं विदुष इज वन हु नोस दिस फॉर दैट यज्ञस्य एंड एवं दैट विद्वान एवं विद्वान इज यज्ञ व्हाई बिकॉज एवं विदुष यज्ञस्य आर इन सामनाधिकरण्य सो दि एवं विद्वान एंड इन षष्टि एवं विदुष यज्ञ से विल शो यू दैट दैट एवं विथ एवं विद्वान इज एवं विद्वान इज यज्ञ एंड दैट इज अ पुरुष हु इज उपासक एंड यजमान सो आत्मा दैट दैट इज द स्वरूप ऑफ द यज्ञ And what is the Swarupa of the Yajna? Evam Vidwan. Evam Vidusha Yajna Syatma. So Yajmana himself is the Swarupa of the Upasana also there. So Purusho Vav Yajna and Tasya Evam Vidusho Yajna Syatma seem to be having the same meaning. Therefore Pura Pakshi is saying Tatra Itaratroktaha Purusha Yajna Sya Dharmaha Taitariya Ke Upa अभी उपसंहर्तव्या उत न संशय उपसंहर्तव्या पूर्वपक्ष पूर्वपक्ष इज दैट सिंस दि पुरुष यज्ञ इज सेम यू सी दैट बोथ आर पुरुष यज्ञ पुरुष विद्या उपासना सो पुरुष यज्ञ इन तैतरीय एंड पैंगी रहस्य आर वन एंड दि सेम बिकॉज बोथ इन बोथ दि प्लेसेस उपासना इज सेम बिकॉज बोथ आर सीन एज यज्ञ पुरुष इज यज्ञ दैट इट सेल्फ इज एन इट इज नॉट लिटरल सो इट इज एन उपासना इट इज एन कल्पना इट इज अ कल्पना देर फोर इट इज एन उपासना सो पुरुष यज्ञ इज एक्चुअली पुरुष विद्या इट सेल्फ बेस्ड ऑन वॉट पुरुष हिमसेल्फ बींग दि यज्ञ हिज एंटायर लाइफ इज सीन एंड डिवाइडेड एंड देर फोर इट इज सीन एज याग That itself is purusha vidya upasana. Therefore, both have to be same, although they are in different shakas. This is the doubt resolved by the puro pakshi upasamharta vyaha iti puro paksha. The dharmas or the gunas heard in pangirasya and taitiriya should be clubbed together. Siddhanta stu. Whereas, what is the siddhanta? Purusha vidya yam yuva yatha pangi nam purusha vidya yam purusho yajnyatve na kalpita ha. Just like in Purusha Vidya, which is seen in Pahingi Rasya. So the Pahingi followers are Pahingi, uh, the Pahingi, Pahingin, so Pahingin and then Yatha Pahingi Naam Purusha Vidya Yam. In the Pahingi Rasya, those who follow the, that Pahingi Rasya, they follow that Shaka, Pahingi Rasya, Shaka. In the Purusha Vidya, which is there, there what do you see? Purusha Yajna Tvena Kalpita. Purusha is imagined in the manner of Yajna and this imagination is ordained by the Shruti. Therefore, it is Nupasana. Tadiyam Ayuhu Tredha Yuvajya Savana Tvena Kalpita. Ashi Shishadi Nicha Jikshadi Bhavena Kalpita. So, Purva Pakshi is being countered by saying look at the swarupa of the yajna in or upasana in the purusha being imagined as a yajna in the 
Payingi Rasya. There you look at it, the Ayush, Ayuhu, Ayu of the, the entire life of the Purusha, Tadiyam Ayuhu, the Purusha's life is divided into three, Tredha Yubhajya, and having divided into three parts, Savana Tvena Kalpitam, it is seen as Savana, three, three parts of the person's life, the Yajamana's life are seen as Yaga, where the three parts, the, the entire life is seen as Yaga, and the three parts are seen as Savana, Soma Savana. So this is what the Upasana Swarupa is. And further what? Ashishishadi Nicha Dikshadi Bhavina Kalpitani. What about the Diksha in this uh, Soma Yaga? So this Diksha, the initiation into the Soma Yaga Ityadi, the, this is also part of Upasana. And what is that? The Kalpana is done of Diksha Ityadi by taking Ashishisha Ityadi. Ashishisha is what? Ashitum Icha. Ashitum Bhoktum Icha Ashishisha. So Ashishisha is desire to eat. So the hunger which makes the desire to eat come up, that is Ashishisha. And there are many other things which are imagined as part of this Upasana. So the hunger, desire to eat is imagined as Diksha. Initiation into the Yaga Ityadi. Tatha Itaresham, similarly, actually not similar. Why? Because Anamnana. So similarly do you see in Taitariya Purusha Yajna, you do not see. So Tatha Itaresham, Itaresham means Taitariya Kana, those who follow the Taitariya Upanishad, there Taitariya Shakha, rather Taitariya Shakha, there Purusha Vidyayam Savanatvadinam Anamnanat. You do not see this Savana Ityadi in the Taitariya. So you don't have that at all. Savana is not a part of this Upasana. So what do you have there? Tesham hi Purusha Vidyayam Purusha Sambandhi Yajno Nukrantaha Patni Yajamana Veda, Vedi, Barhi, Yupadikam cha Anukrantam. Whereas the parts of the Yaga, Purusha Yaga, Purusha Yajna in Taitariya is what? There is Purusha Yajna, Purusha Sambandhi Yajna. The Yajna is Purusha Sambandhi all right. You can call it as Purusha Yajna also. But you see, Purusha Vidyayam, Purusha Sambandhi, Yajnaha, Anukranta. What do you see there? What are the parts there? Patni. Patni is seen as part of the Upasana. Yajamana is also part of the Upasana. Veda. Veda is part of Upasana. Veda is uh, Darbha Mushti. The, uh, the, uh, you know, the, the Darbha tied together, which is, which can be carried in the palm of the hand, that is called as Vedaha. And Vedi, Vedi is also seen as part of Upasana. That is the Swarupa. What is Vedi? The Parishkrita Bhumihi. The purified part of the space, land where the Yaga is to be done. So that, that Vedi is also imagined there. And Barihi, Kusha. So Kusha is Barihi. Yupa is where the sacrificial animal is tied so that meaning the the wooden uh, stump which is uh, which is actually which which should shine it is polished in such a manner that uh, it has a lot of shine and unto that the sacrificial animal is uh, tied so these and there are other things also which are not common at all they are all different whereas savana ityadi is Imagined in the Paingi Rasya, in Taitariya you have Patni Ajmara Veda Vedi Barhi Upa Ityadi Chanukrantam. This is what you see. And therefore, Savanatva Savanatvadina Anamnana, but Patni Ajmana Vedi Barhi Veda Vedi Barhi Upa Dinam Amnanath. 
that is what you hear you do not hear the purusha vidya antargata gunas dharmas but you hear completely different dharmas as part of upasanas and this is all part of purusha yajna purusha sambandhi actually purusha sambandhi yajna it is it is not purusha seen as yaga but purusha sambandhi yaga yajmana is the swarup of the yaga and yajmana has everything else related patni is there without which he cannot be yajmana at all in soma yaga ityadi any yaga actually any yaga other than agni karya which is shrauta yaga in shrauta yaga you see only the i mean for the most part you see only grahastha has adhikara that is the reason to get married in fact <laughs> it is also the reason to beget a child the the idea to get a child is because he can do karma as, and become a su- superior adhikari in that karma so patni yajmana veda vedi vedi barhi upadikam cha anukrantam they are completely different dharmas in the upasanas across shakhas yattu marana abhuta gunasya vidyaikya pratyavijnya apakatvam avadi tanna puru pakshi as what about the guna which is same you are focusing on differences but i am showing the aikya through the similarity so you see yattu marana marana the death being seen as abhuta the yaga Uh, the yaga antargata at the end of the yaga there is ritualistic bearing that avabruta is purusha's marana that is same across both shakhas therefore vidya ikya pratyavijnya apakatvam there is pratyavijnya of both the yagas being same what about that to that siddhanti says tanna what you have stated avadi tanna what was stated that is not so why because bahu guna bhede ekasya pratyapitnyapakatva ayogat because when there bahu guna bhedas if there are many dharmas gunas which are different then a single guna which is common cannot give you pratyapitnya pratyapitnya won't take place how will pratyapitnya take place purusha word is used yajna word is used purusha and yajna words are seen through and through and yaga is always purusha sambandhi sam sambandha will always be there without the yajmana there can't be any yaga therefore taddita wise there is always sambandha all yagas are purusha yagas only taddita can be purusha purusha sambandhi so the taitriya antargata yaga is purusha sambandhi yaga and the swarup of the upasana can be seen because purusha cannot be yaga purusha cannot be part of yaga the way it is mentioned therefore it is an upasana and that no that need not necessarily give you pratyabhijna in fact why why will there be pratyabhijna we will ask just because purusha is there and yajna is there you will not get pratyabhijna it is the same everything else is different just like saying when you say soyam devadatta what is common everything else other than desha and kala is common सो तदेश तत्काल देवदत्ता विशिष्ट देवदत्ता एंड एतदेश एतत्काल विशिष्ट देवदत्ता सीम टू बी डिफरेंट लुकिंग एट व्हाट ओनली देश एंड काला बट एवरीथिंग एल्स इज टेलिंग यू दैट इज द सेम देवदत्ता देयर फॉर प्रत्यभिज्ञा टेक्स प्लेस हियर योर देश काला शाखा एवरीथिंग इज डिफरेंट सो जस्ट बिकॉज only marana abhruta is same every other guna being different you cannot have pratyavijna at all bahu guna bhede ekasya pratyavijna apakatva ayogat if at all you say there is pratyavijna it is basically a brahma ataha vidya ikya bhava atno upasamartavya iti siddham therefore dharmas should not be club together dharma ha na upasamartavya ha why hetu is vidya ikya abhava because vidya aikya pratyavijna can't take place therefore vidya aikya is not there therefore vidya not being one there cannot be vidya aikya vidya aikya because of vidya aikya not being there gunas cannot be club together therefore these dharmas gunas should not be club together at all 
across shakhas so that is the single sutra adhikarana next adhikarana is vedadhi adhikarana purva yatha purusha yajnasya atma vidya sannidhana tat sheshatvam tatha mantranam karmanam cha tat tad vidya sannidhana tat sheshatvam astu iti drishtanta sangatya idamah purva pakshi says how earlier you have made anga angi bhava in something based on what this purusha yajna if you look at it it is close to atma vidya now this purusha yaga if you look at it what is the siddhanta there why should you do these upasanas as a general statement it will give you chitta ekagrata this is the reason that upasanas are to be done even by vedantin now siddhanti is saying that look at this purusha vidya in purusha vidya purusha is not literally yaga but shruti is saying it is purusha is yaga what does it mean it is an upasana so kalpana has to be done as to purusha is yaga whether you know his life is a savana or patni yajmana veda vedi ityadi are seen as parts of the upasana in both cases there is some imagination of this purusha in different manners which he is not literally so this purusha being seen as yaga will give that kind of chitta ekagrata to understand the subtlety of the atma vidya the atma vidya who is this purusha really he is not sharira at all and thereby when the atma vidya prakarana comes up in the same prakarana it will come up there, there is close proximity there because upanishad it is upanishad antargata this purusha vidya is part of chandogya upanishad which finally goes to reveal atma vidya so this swarup of atma is revealed in the same upanishad where this purusha vidya is there so purusha vidya due to close proximity to atma vidya is what is a part of this anga of this atma vidya this is the conclusion drawn there by mimamsa uttar mimamsa also and that is the reason that these upasanas make a part of the upas uh, upanishad and a large part also if you look at chandogya this six chapters Uh, sorry uh, chandog has eight chapters the first five chapters are upasanas the last three chapters are atma vidya so number wise chapter number wise also you see five chapters are pur- meaning uh, five chapters are upasanas vidyas but not atma vidyas but the three chapters which follow are atma vidya so what is the connection between these chapters why are they part of the upanishad because this purusha vidya which is seen in the earlier five chapters part of the earlier five, cha- uh, five, cha- five chapters spread across they make a make the anga for the atma vidya which is the tatpare vishaya which is the main upanishad vidya so the purusha vidya is anga to the angi atma vidya this is the conclusion drawn and if you study the bhashya if you have studied or you study the chandogya 6th chapter uh, upodghata or the sangati bhashya that upodghata will tell you bhagwan bhashyakara says there as to what is the connection between the earlier upasana kanda and the atma vidya that is following there is a very uh, very interesting uh, example taken up he says in a particular upasana that has gone by what was seen is that when the jnani eats upasaka jnani eats then the praja praja's hunger is satiated 
so when the jnani eats upasaka eats then everyone is fulfilled how can that be so he says this is not possible unless this jnani is the very swarup of everyone meaning this jnani is brahma which is the very swarup of everyone then alone this will make sense and this is how he connects the upasana to the upasana kanda to the jnana kanda proper it's a very beautiful connection shown by anyatha anupapatti otherwise it is impossible even in that kalpana there is some basis he says that in that upasana kalpana also there is some basis what is the phala you look at that you will see that it this is the connection between the upasana kanda and the jnana kanda proper in chandogya upanishad so similarly here what is being said is that the purusha yagnasya atma vidya sannidhana tatcheshatvam because this purusha vidya is in close proximity to atma vidya sannidhana what is this sannidhana actually sannidhana is uh, proximity and sannidhi will come up sannidhi sannidhi is a pramana use in mimamsa shruti linga vakya prakarana sthana samakhya so that sthana is sannidhi sannidhi is sthana so here what is being said this because of sannidhi sorry yeah, sannidhi vidya sannidhana at tatcheshatvam therefore tatcheshat means atma vidya sheshatvam kasya purusha yajnasya this purusha yajna purusha vidya becomes anga to the atma vidya which is following in the same upanishad where is, and there is sannidha sannidhana or sannidhi tatha mantranam karmanam cha tattad vidya sannidhana tatcheshatvamastu iti drishtant sangatya idamah and now what the siddhanti is told is that similarly puro pakshi is saying this similarly tattad vidya sannidhana because of close proximity sannidhana sthana basically sthana which shows karma and mantra which are also around there so mantra and karma also let them become the shesha to upasana tad vidya tat tad vidya sannidhana to whichever vidya there is a proximal mantra and karma let them become part of that anga of that vidya upasana tat tad vidya sannidhana tat cheshatvam vidya cheshatvam astu bhavatu be it so why not so that is how it should be shouldn't it be so this is the question raised doubt raised by the puru bakshi and drishtant sangatya idama iti drishtant sangatya therefore he has taken the puru bakshi methodology as an example and used it elsewhere as an exemplified therefore there is a drishtant sangati and thereby vedadikaranam uh, vedadyadikaranam comes up the sutra there is vedadyartha bhedat vedadyartha bhedat sutra says this vedha vedha is basically uh, we'll see in the mantra but pravidhya sarvam pravidhya that kind of a mantra is heard there so it is basically where vedana meaning cutting something that is done in the mantra in the mantra at least there is such a mantra as to piercing or cutting everything so cutting or piercing everything uh, hrudayam hrudayam pravidhya having cut or pierced the heart so this kind of a mantra is heard so that vedana vedhadi etc some other things are also there artha bheda there is artha bheda artha na bheda because there is a bheda therefore what vidya sheshatvam cannot be there karma and mantra that you see there mantra and karma mantra cha veda ityadi vedana cutting piercing such kind of a mantra and the artha 
artha meaning the application the way it is applic uh, applicable is mantra is applicable and other karmas which are discussed adi padena karma also karmas which are discussed there mantra and karma although they are in the same shakha upanishad close to the upanishad they cannot be clubbed together with the upasana they cannot be clubbed together so not the upanishad but any upasana that is there in the close proximity they cannot be clubbed together they cannot be anga angi bhava why bhedat vedadi artha bhedat so due to the mantra and karma having a different application completely different application from the upasanas discussed there those upasanas and mantra plus karma do not have anga angi bhava so this is a very tricky section in that sense patra purva pakshe mantra dinam vidya sheshatvena upasamhara siddhante tu anupasamhara iti phala bheda purva pakshi says that mantra karma all these आर अंग टू विद्या उपासन एंड देर फोर विद्या शेषत्न उपसंहार दि उपसंहार गुण उपसंहार शुड बी डन वॉट एवर मंत्राज एंड कर्माज आर देर दे शुड बी क्लब टूगेदर बिकॉज ऑफ सन्निधि विद दि विद्या उपासन इन सिद्धांत सिद्धांत तो अनुपसंहार दे शुड नॉट बी क्लब टूगेदर मंत्राज एंड कर्मा हेव डिफरेंट पर्पज कंपेर्ड टू दि उपासन दे शुड नॉट बी ब्रॉड टूगेदर एंड मेड वन विद दिस उपासन एट ऑल की फलभेद आथर्वणिका उपनिषद आरंभे सर्व प्रविध्य हृदय प्रविध्य इत्याद मंत्र पठिता सो दीज मंत्र इन दि उपनिषद तरोन्सु हर्ड इन आथ फॉर आथर्वणिक इन दि अथर्व शाखा सो दे वॉट डू यू हियर यू हियर इन एट दि बिगिनिंग इट्स यू हेव दि मंत्र सर्व प्रविध्य हृदय प्रविध्य हेविंग पियर्स एवरीथिंग हेविंग कट अंडर्ड दि Heart. What does it mean? Ityadeh mantraha patita. These are basically what are called as uh, abhichar mantras, or they are heard in, in the abhichar mantras also in prayoga also. Where do you hear this? In the shena yaga ityadi. The shena yaga is shatru vada yaga. I have mentioned this earlier also. This shatru vada which is done. there are, there is uh, you know there is a purpose to this as to we have seen earlier as to uh, one who has anger so much krodha that he would go and physically attack the shatru and kill and might as well while killing the shatru due to that anger towards the shatru whoever comes in between he may as well kill them he might as well end up killing them others also that is one possibility or because it is being seen by others it will cause more and more himsa it is not a good thing to do publicly go and uh, you know attack someone so in your own premises shruti says that if you want to hurt or kill the shatru what is a, an alaukika upaya to that it gives that it does not say you do this it says that if at all you want to kill remember that there will be naraka to you but you can do this yaga shena yaga so that abhichara uh, abhichara prayoga can be done but then the purpose of the shruti is one to give some time to the yajamana in that sense when he collects all the uh, material needed for the yaga all the means because shena yaga is not a simple yaga so he should get everyone together he should get all the things together B- when he is getting them together there is an assumption made as a possibility that his anger will subside he'll get some thinking space the buddhi might become wiser in the sense that his krodha will become shanta or buddhi can step in and make the person think whether this is the right thing to do i am angry all right but then is this the right thing to do because dharma shastra is studied by the same person he will know that there is narka ityadi and it's a papa karma or the anger is no longer there because anger does not stay through and through it is an emotion which is very intense but it is that intensity does not last and if at all he finally goes ahead the other reasons we already seen 
This is the reason the Shena is there in the Atharvaityadi. So Atharvanika, Atharvanika Nam Upanishad Arambe Sarvam Pravidya, having pierced everything, pierced his heart also. Hridayam Pravidya Ityadi. You know, the, it is heard in that section also, not only in the Upanishad, but it is also heard in the Abhicharika Karma. In Shena Yaga also, this mantra is used. Ityadeya mantraha patitaha Kanvana, wherein in Kanva Shaka, Shukla Yuruda Shaka, Kanvana, Upanishadado, Deva Havai, Satvam Nishedhu, Ityadi Pravardya Brahmanam Patitam. So at the beginning of the Kanva Shaka, what do you hear? You hear this Devas. Devas did some yaga. They did some yaga. This is the mantra which is heard. So some karma is there. This is not an Abhicharika karma. So the mantra which is heard in the Atharva Upanishad, Antargata Upanishad, there the mantra which is heard that is related to the Abhicharika karma. Whereas in the Kanvashaka, the Devas did some yaga, Sattvam Nisheduhu, they did some yaga. That is not at all Abhicharika karma. It is a Sattva karma, Sattvam Nisheduhu. They did the Sattva karma, indeed. Devas did that. Ityadi Pravargya Brahmanam Patitam. This is called a Pravargya Brahmana. That is part of the Pravargya Brahmana. Tatra Kim Ete Sarvam Pravidya Ityadeva Mantraha Pravargya Adini Cha Karmani Vidyasu Upasamhriyeran Navayati Sande Upasamhriyeran Iti Purva Paksha. Whether the Upasamhara should be done or not of these mantras and karmas with the Tatar Upanishad Gata Vidyas. The Vidyas which are there, should they be clubbed together Upasana with the Upasanas? Should there be an Angangi Bhava Siddha? The Puro Pakshi says Navaiti Sandhi Upasamri Eran Iti Puro Paksha. Puro Pakshi says Upasamara should be done, meaning the mantras and karma should be brought in as Anga of the Upasanas. Siddhantas to no Upasamri Eran. Siddhanti says no, you should not bring together these at all. There should not be karma and mantra Upasamara into the Vidya Upasana. Kutaha, why should they not be brought together? Vidyad Yartha Vedat. Hetu given is, uh, sorry, uh, Vedad Yartha Vedat. So, Vedadi Artha Veda is there. What does that mean? Sarvam Pravidya Ityadi Mantra Prakashitanam Vedadi Nam Arthanam Abhicharika Karmadi Samavetanam Vedat. Because there being Veda. Veda of what? This Vedadi. Mantras which are there and the uh, Veda, Veda Mantra and Ar Artha Veda of the Adipada, Adipada Karma also. Completely different application is there. Therefore what? Those Mantra Prakashitanam Vedadinam. In the Shena Yaga these Mantras which are used and Arthanam. Application also if you look at Abhicharika Karma Adi Samavetanam which are part of the Abhicharika Karma. There is a Bheda. Bheda Vidyasu Asamaveta Tva Dityartha. They are not at all connected. Samaveta is connected. Asamaveta is not connected. They are not at all connected. Bheda is there, meaning they are not at all connected to the Upasana at all. Evancha Abhicharika Karmadi Samaveta Artha Prakashana Samartya Lakshanam Lingam Sannidim Durbalam Tiraskritya Mantranam Abhicharika Karmangatum Sadhyati. Itina Vidyangatum Pravargyadi Karmanam Cha Sannidehe Baliyasa Shrutyadina Jyotish Tomado Vinyuktanam Na Vidyasheshatram Iti Bhava. So the two sets, the mantras which are used in Abhicharika Karmas and the karma which has been discussed in the Karma Shaka of the Sattva Karma which was done by Devas, these cannot be clubbed together in the Vidya Upasana. How so? So for both, Veda is common across both as a Hetu. For mantras also, for karmas also, across both shakas, given as example. But the, uh, the strength of the pramana used is different. So, in both cases, Sannidhi is being shown by the Puro Pakshi. And in one case, Evancha Abhicharika Karma Adi Samaveta. Those which are connected, the mantras which are connected to Abhicharika Karma, Adi Samaveta Artha Prakashana Samartya. So what is revealed there? What do you understand the application as that Samartya Lakshanam? What is the Lakshana there? Lingam. 
that linga is what sannidhi sannidhi is the linga so uh, sorry lakshanam lingam sannidhim durbalam tiraskritya so this linga which is the which lakshana this samarthya lakshana prakashana samarthya lakshana the artha prakashana samarthya lakshana is a linga whereas sannidhi is a different pramana linga is one pramana sannidhi is different pramana which is durbala which is prabala so sannidhi is durbala lingam sannidhim durbalam tiraskritya so the linga sadhayati lingam sadhayati what does linga establish linga establishes mantranam abicharika karma angatvam uh, sorry uh, tiraskritya mantranam abicharika karma angatvam sadhayati yeah. so abicharika karma angatvam sadhayati natu vidya angatvam this is what what is doing that linga so linga which is characterized by the samarthya what is the samarthya artha prakashana it is, tells you the application meaning of the application what is it the connected samaveta with the karma the karma is it, it is connected with the karma karma samaveta artha prakashana samarthya lakshana is linga and what is the karma to which this mantra is connected abicharika so abicharika karma adi samaveta connected to abicharika karma ityadi this mantra is that kind of a artha prakashana samarthya lakshana is there that becomes the linga it is there in the mantra itself that mantra has this lakshana which is becoming linga now it is uh, and uh, what is this it is the uh, mantra is a uh, shabda it is it is something that is revealing something therefore it is linga so vachaka vachaka shabda so that vachaka shabda is a linga which is showing what du- sannidhi is durbala sannidhi as a pramana is durbala and having discarded that durbala sannidhi linga is establishing sadeti what is it establishing it is establishing that this mantra is mantrana abicharika karma angatvam it is mantra is a it is an anga of the abicharika karma but not the anga of the upasana na vidyangatvam vidyangatvam na sadeti karma angatvam tu sadeti kidrsha karma angatvam abicharika karma angatvam shenaadi karma angatvam and what about this pravargyaadi karma that devas did so pravargyaadi karma nam cha sannidehe baliyasa shrutyaadina the shruti is definitely stronger than sannidhi sannidhi sthana and what is the hierarchy the mimamsa sutra there is sannidhi sthana and the sthana finds its place where shruti linga vakya prakarana sthana samakhyanam samavaye para daurbalyam artha viprakarshat iti mimamsa sutra na sthane na sheshatvam sthana cannot establish the vidya sheshatvam why because shruti is stronger in the second case shruti is shown as stronger than the sannidhi or the sthana in the first case what has been shown the linga is stronger than sannidhi and uh, shruti is stronger than linga also but you have linga available shruti is not available in the first case of mantra being part of karma anga uh, being anga of karma not of vidya and in the second case the karma is not part of vidya why because it shows that shruti shows that jyotishtomadu vinyukta they are connected to jyotishtomadi the deva havai sattvam nishedu means they they it is connected this karma that devas did that is jyotishtomadi karma so they are connected to jyotishtoma and not to this vidya there why no vidya sheshatvam iti bhava so this needs a, a little bit of mimamsa so it's a, it's it's complex and what follows is more complex so we'll see that in the next part huh? i am already late for the next part huh? again <laughs> I'll see you in the next part. Uh, uh, what is our uh, Mangala Charana? Amna Yantika Samusiddham Adi Madhyant Varjitam Anand Gharama Purnam Atma Jyoti Rupasma I didn't want to you know close midway because uh, I didn't want to repeat all this again in the next part. Huh? So I thought I'll close. Yeah. Namaste. Thanyavada. Sure. Namaste. Thanyavada.